What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video tutorial on neural networks. In this video, we will see what is cost function and what are the different types of cost function we can use in neural networks. I am Jay Patel and I upload new videos on machine learning every Sunday. So make sure to hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's start with this video. So cost function in machine learning is the error representation. It shows how our model is predicting compared to the actual values or actual output labels. Lesser the cost function, more the accuracy of our model and higher the cost function, lesser the accuracy of our model. In neural network, we use different types of cost functions based on the application we are trying to make or the problem we are trying to solve. In this video, we will look at the cost functions for three different types of applications, which are for regression or linear regression problem, binary classification, where the output label can only take either of the two value, and multi-class classification, where the output can be in the form of any number of categories. Let's first start by looking at the cost function for the regression type of problem. In regression or linear regression, the output can take any number. The example for the regression type of problem can be house price prediction. Now as the cost function is just the error representation, we can represent the error for one observation by taking the difference between the predicting value and the actual value, where here yi is the actual output label and ai is the predicting value. And now we can just take the modules of it to get the absolute value of this error. But this is the error for only one observation. Let's say if we have m number of observations, then we can take the average of all those errors and we will get the cost function. So the cost function can be given by taking the average of all those errors. Now we can also square this error and take the 2m and this will still again be represented as a cost function and it can be used as a different type of cost function that does the same job for linear regression. So the other form of cost function can be given by taking the 1 upon 2m and same summation for all the errors, just taking the square here. And both of these can be represented as the cost function for regression type of problem. This cost function is called mean absolute error while this is called mean squared error. Now also note one more thing here. You might have heard of the term loss or loss function. So what is that? So loss is the error for one observation. So here our error was ai minus of yi. So loss will be given by ai minus of yi for ith observation. And the cost function will be given by the average of all those errors. Now let's look at the cost function for the binary classification. Now we cannot use the previously seen cost function in binary classification because the output takes only 0 or 1 as its value. So we use a different type of cost function and error for one observation in this can be given by minus of yi multiplied by log of ai plus 1 minus of yi log of 1 minus of ai and the cost function will again be given by taking the average of all these errors. Now let's look at how this term can represent the error for one observation. The graph of negative of logarithm looks something like this. So when let's say the output value or output prediction yi is equal to 0 then this term will be cancelled. So we will be only left with the other term, which was minus of 1 minus of yi log of 1 minus of ai. And as yi is 0, so we, it will be minus of log of 1 minus of ai. Now, if you see, let's say ai value approaches to 0, which is, let's say, which is close to 0, then 1 minus of yi will be closer to 1. And thus the log of 1 minus of y ai will be around this region. So you can see the value is pretty close to 0. Thus the, we can say that the error is less when ai is approaching to 0. 
and let's say when the ai is approaching to 1 then 1 minus of ai will be approaching to 0 and the value for the minus of log will be very high so when the ai value is approaching to 1 then we have high error thus you can see that as the yi is close to the ai we get the less error and if the ai is far from yi we get the high error similarly let's say if yi uh, is equal to 1 then this term will be cancelled and we will only be left with this term so our error will be equal to minus of log of ai and if the ai is approaching to 1 then we will be having a smaller error and if the ai is approaching to 0 then we will be having a higher error so here it also makes the clear that as ai approaches the value closer to yi we get less error and if the ai is far from the yi we get the more error thus this term can be represented as the error for one observation and this will be the formula for the cost function for binary classification type of problem if you know about the logistic regression then you will all uh, then you will know that this is the formula we use for the logistic regression and the same formula we will be using for the binary classification in the neural network so this can also be called as a logistic regression cost function and the other name for this cost function is also binary cross entropy so you might come across this term a lot while dealing with the neural networks uh, because in neural networks we can call this function as the binary cross entropy now for binary classification the output can take many categories so again we cannot use the previously seen binary classification cost function in this and for multi-class classification the output label for the ith observation are going to be given by a one hot representation so one hot representation means there is a one at one position which can be any of these position and zero at the other positions so this zero is for this neuron this one is for this neuron and similarly these two and the predictions for the ith observation can be given by this factor where it takes these values so it will be 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.2 thus the error for this observation can be given by taking the minus of yi1 where yi1 is this value multiplied by log of ai1 where ai1 is this value plus yi2 log of ai2 plus yi3 log of a i 3 plus y i 4 log of a i 4 so a i 2 a i 3 a i 4 are these values and again if we have m number of observation then we can just take the average of these and it will be our cost function also note one more thing here for every observation we are going to have one at one position and zero at the rest of the position so for this observation all these terms are going to be zero and our error is just going to be this value which is going to be minus of log of 0.5 thus the cost function for the multi-class classification can be given by this formula where n represents the total number of neurons in the output layer while m is the total number of observations and this cost function is also called as the categorical cross entropy so let's summarize everything for regression the output can be any number and for that we use this as our cost function either of these two for binary classification the output can take only one of the two categories and for that the cost function we use is given by this formula and for multi-class classification there are many output categories and the cost function is given by this and it is also called as the categorical cross entropy so that's it for this video if you are new to this channel then check out my other videos on neural networks and machine learning and in the next video we are going to continue our discussion on neural networks where we will derive the 
equation for the back propagation and then we are also going to implement the complete neural network in python so i see you in the next videos